Hey, this is Eric Kurtz, and in this video, we're going to take a look at a virtual protractor and a virtual ruler that you and your students can use online inside of Google Chrome. Now, one of these is a Chrome web app and the other is a Chrome web extension. So to get these, you are going to need to go to the Chrome web store, uh, the Chrome web store at chrome.google.com slash web store, where you're going to be able to come up here and run a search for these uh, particular tools. Um, I'll also have a link uh, beneath the video and also in the blog post uh, to get to these as well. Now the first one we're going to take a look at is the one that's the protractor. This is called MB Ruler for Chrome. So again, you can just run a search for that or follow the links to MB Ruler for Chrome. And this is a Chrome web extension that gives you a virtual protractor that you can use on any web page or any web tool uh, that you're using. So first of all, let's go ahead and install this. Uh, to do so, we're simply gonna click on the Add to Chrome button up here in the top right. Go ahead and say that's okay to add the extension. And once we do that, you're gonna notice it puts a little teeny icon up here in the top right hand corner, letting us know that extension has been installed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my Google drawing with a triangle, and there it is. You can see that now that I've got that installed, I've got this little drop down here that shows a protractor. So I'll go ahead and I'll give a click on that. And as soon as I do, there it is. It pops open the virtual protractor. And the way this works is you can click on the little teeny red dot in the middle and drag it around if you want to move the protractor around. Or you can grab on the little red dots on either end if you want to rotate the protractor or stretch it out to make it bigger or smaller as needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab the little red dot and I'm gonna move that right to the vertex of this triangle here. And then I'm gonna grab the other red dot and I'm gonna line that up with the side here. And you see I can, if I want to make it larger or smaller, whatever size works for me here that makes the most sense. And at that point I could now count up 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, probably about 41 degrees for that particular angle. Now you will notice there is this little blue dot here as well. If you want, you can grab that and you can drag that out and it will actually draw, it'll drag out a line here and give you an exact measurement. So 41.21, I was pretty close, pretty good there. Um, and so when you're done using the protractor, again, you can just come back up to the little protractor button up here in the top right that you click to first open it up, click that again, and it just disappears as quickly as that. So that's how to install and use MB Ruler for Chrome as a virtual protractor. Now the next one we're going to take a look at is the ruler. And this one is called Edge the Web Ruler. Now this is a web app, not a web extension. So when we install it, it's not going to show up in the top right here. Instead, it's going to show up on your um, web apps page. So for example, if I'm in Chrome and I open up a new tab and I go to my apps button in the top right, this listing of all of my web apps, that's where it's going to show up. Or if you're on a Chromebook, you're going to launch that from um, the search button in the bottom left-hand corner of the Chromebook. So let's go ahead and let's install Edge the Web Ruler. So I'm going to click Add to Chrome, say Add App, give that a moment to do its thing. All right, and now if I head back over to my apps page, it should be there. Keep on moving, oh, there it is, popped up on that page. So the way this one works is, I simply go to my web apps page and I click on the edge ruler, and when I do, there it comes. Give that a moment to pop up, all right, there it is. And we'll go back over to our um, drawing. And here is the edge ruler. Now, basically what this is, is a virtual ruler that you can do a number of things with. First of all, 
I can take my mouse, click anywhere on there, and I can drag that ruler around. No problem at all there. If it's not big enough or if it's too large, I can take my mouse to the end and I can shrink it up or stretch it out to make it larger as need be. Now notice I can also switch between three different measuring units. The first one, PX, that stands for pixels. That's how many dots on the screen that it's taking up. The next CM, of course, centimeters, and then IN, of course, inches. So you can switch to whatever one is appropriate for you there. There is also a little gear here that if you click, it gives you some advanced settings. Here, let me stretch this out so you can see them a little bit better. And one of those advanced settings is always on top. Now, that's a pretty good one so that you don't lose the ruler. Now, here's what I mean. If I don't have that checked and I just click anywhere else, suddenly, the web page is in front and the rulers in back. Then I've got to go down and find it in my uh, taskbar and bring it back up to the top there. So if you click the always on top, and again, you find that through the gear, and of course you can click the gear to hide it away again when you're done with that. Now if I click elsewhere, doesn't matter, the ruler's gonna stay on top. And that can be really helpful when you're trying to measure things. So I can just simply come down here, put this um, on the triangle to go ahead and measure in centimeters or inches or pixels. Um, if I want more than one more than one ruler up, I can just click here. There's a another horizontal ruler that just gives me a second one that I can pop up and use if I if I want to. Or if I want a horizontal or excuse me a vertical one, I can click on the icon for the vertical ruler, and here comes the vertical ruler as well. We'll switch that over to centimeters. Uh, maybe we will. <laughs> Give me a second to get it there. There we go. And then I can go ahead and line that up with the top of my triangle and then uh, go ahead and shrink that up to the right size so I can measure the height as well as the base of that triangle. Now when you're done using one of these, you can just hit the little X on it and that uh, ruler just goes away as simple as can be. There is one last little calibration you can do if you want, just, just an option. You'll notice it does have a spot here where you can put in the diagonal screen size. Uh, so if you actually measure out the, the diagonal size of your screen from top corner to bottom opposite corner, something like that, and you type that in, it'll adjust this to be exactly accurate. Now it does its best to estimate the size of centimeters and inches and so forth, but like I measured mine, and the particular monitor I'm on right now is 61 centimeters from corner to corner. It didn't make a big change there, seems to be still pretty much the size it was, so that means it was already pretty accurate, which is encouraging as well. And again, when you're done using that, just hit the X to close out of it. All right, so hopefully um, you can find some great uses for the um, Protractor as well as the uh, Virtual Ruler. And again, you can use these really on any website. It doesn't have to be something like a Google Drawing. Certainly that's fine for measuring angles and shapes and so forth. It could be uh, Google Maps, maybe have the students measure angles of intersecting roads. It could be a photograph. You could be pulling up Google Photos or some photo online and doing indirect measurement where perhaps you know the, the height of a flagpole or, or excuse me, you know the height of a person standing next to an unknown height of a flagpole or the, or the height of a building. And you could measure them in the photograph and then take the real life measurement you know of the person to do um, some proportions and figure out the height of the um, of the larger object for example a lot or really any web page you would like to use these on so let's go ahead and uh, wrap that up and let you know that if you want more details on this you can check out the blog post on my blog controlaltachieve.com the specific post that has extra details about these tools as well as links to install them can be found at controlaltachieve.com dot com slash virtual ruler that'll jump you right into that blog post now while you're there definitely feel free to check out the other resources i've got tons of help guides and handouts and videos on google apps as well as my upcoming and recorded webinars all freely available to take a look at and there's even a newsletter there you can sign up for to stay in the loop on the most recent things uh, finally if you um, are a math teacher and um, you found this to be very interesting about the virtual protractor and virtual ruler another thing you may Want to take a look at if you go to resources on my site and you go down to Google Drawings, I do have some really nice resources here on teaching math with Google Drawings. There's a pretty detailed help guide as well as a training video there that goes into a lot of other creative ideas for using uh, Google Drawings with math as well. Well, thank you so very much for watching this video. Uh, see you next time. Take care.